Good morning, Facebook family, friends, and YouTube subscribers. Today is Thursday. It's the 13th. Now, um, today is Thursday, the 13th, 13th of 2014, November 13th. It's thir we're 13 days into November. Um, Thanksgiving is right around the corner. I look forward to that. I love Thanksgiving, one of my favorite holidays. Even though as a Jehovah's Witness, growing up as a Jehovah's Witness, um, we really we were we were not supposed to celebrate Thanksgiving, Christmas, and these various holidays. Now, let me explain something. My mother was an active Jehovah Witness. My father was not involved in any religion. But they both raised us together in the same household. My mother and father were married. They lived together in the same household until they divorced. In my early or mid-teens, late teens or something, I would say my early teen, teenage years, my mother and father went through a very bad divorce. Um, so growing up as a Jehovah's Witness was, I created a very negative view about religion. And... Um, it plays a part in my feelings about church, religion, God, Jesus, and all this other mess. To me, it's all false and fake. I'm just going, that's just how I feel about it. I, I, I grew up in a household with a mother who was extremely religious. She drug all seven of her children to the Kingdom Hall four, five, six days a week. We had to go out and field service, knocking on people's doors, spreading the word of Jesus and Jehovah's Witnesses, which they do. Some people say they don't believe in Jesus. They do believe in Jesus. The, the Jehovah's Witness religion was very, um, had a very negative effect on my life. Um, and because of that, I have a very negative opinion about religion, church, black church. I mean, uh, all this ex these experiences, some people love, I dislike. Because I realized at a very, very, very early age, it was all false and fake. I loved to read as a kid, and we would get these. My father, uh, thankfully, was smart enough to order encyclopedias, although he couldn't read nor write. We had these encyclopedias that would show up, brand new encyclopedias that would come there maybe once a year, once two years. I, don't, I can't remember how often those encyclopedias would come, but I would sit and read and read and read. And then through reading and education through those encyclopedias and going to the public library in Gary, Indiana, at a very early age, I realized religion was false and fake, and it was all made up. Now, because I was young and a kid and living in my mother's household, I had to continue to go to this kingdom hall, even though I despised it and hated it. So this went on until my father put his foot down and said I no longer had to attend the Kingdom Hall anymore. The reason why my mother and father divorced, uh, my mother wanted my father to convert to being a Jehovah's Witness, and he know he would be, he refused to do so because he he was just not. My father really didn't have religious beliefs. Not like my mother or some African American. So I didn't grow up in a household with a father who was saying in our household we believe in God. And my father was not like that at all. Thank God. I'm more closer to my father' religious beliefs, which is probably he had no religious beliefs. I never heard my father preaching or saying any comments about God or Jesus or none of that mess. He just kind of ignored it. And when he reached the point in my life when I no longer wanted to go to that, I went to him and he released me from going to this Kingdom Hall while they were still there. Now, after my mother and father divorced, I was back at being forced to the Kingdom Hall with my mother because my mother moved us to Michigan and we began this nightmare journey um, as she tried to get on her feet and move from Michigan to Ohio, then Georgia. And she was never really able to, to adequately get on her feet after that divorce. She should never ever have divorced my father, seven children, filing for divorce for all the wrong reasons. That's another video. We'll do that video later. Um, I think I can only speak for myself. Um, based upon the information 
that I have read, the education that I have received over the years, all religions are man-made and false. Now, it's up to you if that's what you want to believe. You can go out and educate yourself. See, a lot of people say, well, why do you come up with this information? There are tons of books, tons of information readily available for you all to read at every library in America online that will show you and prove that religions are false. Now, I can sit here and point you in the right direction, but you need to begin your own journey and figure this out on your own, like I did. That's very important about life. We all have to figure this stuff out on our own to get an understanding of why we are here and how things came to be. Religion, all religions, are false and fake. None of them are real. They are all fake. And they are all man-made and made up. Designed to control this. Now, African Americans are really caught up in the Christian religion for some odd reason. They are caught up in deep, so deep in the Christian religions, their brains are brainwashed. On every corner in the black community, and some in the white community too, we just drove to North Carolina, I never seen so many churches, churches in my entire life driving up and down that highway in North Carolina. They were so many churches, I'll stop counting them. But a lot of, but blacks put too much faith in something that's not real. It's not real. And they, and they let it control their lives. Like my mother, let's go back to being Jehovah's Witness. We could not go to plays or participate in plays or sports in high school. Uh, we could not look, go out and seek higher education. Um, college was not a good idea. We were not allowed to vote. Not being, and this is stuff that still happens today with the Jehovah's Witness religion. They don't still don't vote because I spoke to a friend of mine last week who's a Jehovah's Witness. And he said that they don't vote. They still don't vote. They're still not actively involved in their communities Communities, um, when it comes to something like voting. So, figure that out. The Jehovah's Witness religion is a harmful religion. Like the Baptist, the Kajic, or whatever. These All these churches are... Some people feel it's a positive experience. But I never got that. And the people I meet who attend church, my friends and family members I know, they're the most sad people I've ever met in my entire life. I've never met people who were positive and encouraging who were involved in the church. There were always some of the most negative, horrible people you would ever meet. And I'm speaking about family members and friends I know who are very religious. I can't stand to see them coming. It just it turns my stomach. And they can't see it because they're this, their brains are trapped in the nonsense of religion and they won't let it go. They just refuse to let it go. They just, they, they can't let it go. But I can. I let religion go years ago. Basically when I was a little kid. Because I realized it was false and fake. And it had no impact on my life. Nothing positive. And when I let religion go, my life became, became more happier. Um, and and since some people say, oh, because you let religion go because you're gay. No, I didn't let religion go because I was gay. I let religion go because I realized at a very early age it was false and fake. And if you become, and Pete, those of you watching my videos, go out and educate yourself. Go join a, a college and take a course on um, religion and Christianity and Muslim. And understand, so you can get an understanding of the back around these religions, the Mormons, the Jehovah's Witnesses, Why don't you be, or you can just go read up on the stuff, there's a, there's a time, we live in an, an age of information, that is, that is the age of information, there's so much information available about religion everywhere, go read about it, just don't take the Bible for its word, because it, the Bible is false and fake, and I know that for a fact, now you need to go find that out on your own too, I know a lot of, a lot of people are going to be angry and Man, a lot of religious people, when you start talking about religion, they go off a cliff. Well, go ahead and go off that cliff, children. Because the beliefs, the, the, what you believe in is false and fake and not real. Anyway, I'm great.
take care of some business here at the house. If you like my videos, please click like, share them with family members and friends. I would love to read your thoughts about religion and what you think about it. And um, and I, I, I could probably go on for hours with how I feel about religion and growing up as a Jehovah's Witness. It was probably one of the worst experiences of my entire life. In fact, um, after I left the Jehovah's Witness religion in my early 20s, I had to hire a psychiatrist who was able to get deep into my mind and pull out all these problems and issues and help me resolve those issues. I, I had a great psychiatrist that helped me deal with so many issues that came directly out of me being a Jehovah's Witness, growing up in that Jehovah's Witness faith. I was grateful I had sense enough to go and hire a good psychiatrist who sat me down and walked me through my life. And, got, and I got the help I needed and got to a safe place. And that's what's so important when you're dealing with religion. You have to get to a safe place where you can stand on firm ground about who you are as a person. And I think that's where the problems come in with so many people. They, they're not on firm ground. They're, they're on ground in somebody else's place. So my mother placed me on that Jehovah's Witness ground. I didn't place myself there. She did that. And I had to remove myself from that and put myself someplace where I wanted to be that was safer for me and a better understanding of the world that we live in. But I can say I can go on about this mess forever. Hours. But I'm going to end this video now. If you like my videos, please click like and please share them with family members and friends. And I'd love to read you guys' opinions and comments. And uh, guys, have a great Thursday. I'm out. Bye.